And we change topics now. Following 13 votes short, House Democrats failed to revive the controversial Children's Health Program bill. Democrats hope to override the president's state children's health insurance program uh, veto by calling on more Republicans to break ranks with the White House for the sake of uninsured children. Now, some Republicans opposed the current bill, saying it would have helped families who make too much money. To talk about that, Congresswoman Diana DeGette, welcome. Thanks for coming. It's good to see you Always again. glad to be with you, Ron. What was your reaction, Congresswoman, originally when the president vetoed the bill? Well, I've got a lot of experience with presidential vetoes. <laughs> he's, vetoed three bill, uh, he's vetoed uh, three subjects. He's vetoed my stem cell bill twice, and now the war bill, and of course now the S-chip bill, the so kids' health bill. But, but why he would pick a bill that would ensure 10 million children of the working poor in this country is really beyond me, especially since this is the same legislation that was passed in 1997 by the Clinton administration and the Newt Gingrich Congress, and which was administered for six years by the Bush administration. Well, you speak of Congress. I mean, were you disappointed this week, I mean, with the House? And well, I, I was disappointed, but I was not surprised, surprised, because a veto override is the most, is the ultimate of political acts. Sure. We got 45 Republican votes the first time this bill passed, and so what was really left were the hardcore conservative Republicans and to ask them to you knew they weren't going to do to, it. You know I, I knew they, they were going to change. change I was the main I was the main Democratic whip in charge of this bill and I knew there was no way we were going to get 13 more conservative Republicans to, to break with the but White what House. What do you say to the opponents of the bill and you hear Republicans say this all the time that listen this bill the way it's designed now means that if you're you're not even anywhere near 400 percent of the uh, poverty level and people making eighty thousand dollars middle class America are going to be able to uh, use this bill to pay their bills. I am so sick of the Republican leadership lying about this bill. And this is what I said in my floor speech yesterday. Because the 400% is waivers that the Bush administration, under the current law, gave to three states, New York, New Jersey, and California. Nobody who makes $80,000 is getting S-chip. Nobody. But in those states, some people who do have an income above above forty thousand dollars might be might eligible be for s chip these are people who would have to pay twenty thousand dollars a year for health insurance well what do we do now with these the millions of uninsured children in our country without well, the first thing is we ha we already have the s chip program in place right. and this is the program the bush administration has been ad administering we have six million kids who are insured right now under s chip we're trying to put four million more kids into that program under the same program the Bush administration has supported. So we're going to continue the same program for short periods of time so that the kids don't lose their insurance. And at the same time, we're going to continue to try to put pressure on the administration and Congress. As this election process goes on in the months to come, shouldn't Barack Obama, Hillary Clinton, John Edwards, and from the other side as well, shouldn't they make health care the issue? Health care is the issue. We still have 47 million Americans without health insurance in this country, and many of them are children. The most civilized and wealthiest country in the world can't afford to insure its poorest children, but we're giving, we're paying for health care for all Iraqis. There's something wrong with that picture. And, and speaking of the Rockies, I only have about 30 seconds left. I think I noticed Rocky earrings on you. Am I, am I correct? Yes, I'm a, I'm a big Rocky <laughs> fan. I've been wearing my Rocky's earrings all week, and sadly, the uh, people on the East Coast have only woken up to the fact That's that right. the Rockies are going to win the World yeah. Series. I've had season tickets now for 11 years. Like many things in our great state, people in the East don't realize sometimes until we just show That's them. That's right. right? And w when we win the World Series, maybe we will finally get some respect, but I'm, I'm not so sure. Thank you so much for good coming. Good seeing you good, And good luck with your work on health care. Thank you. Thank you. That's our show. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll talk to you next Sunday night. Good night.